Hello, and welcome to 7-3. Um, here we get to start doing inverses of exponential functions. If you remember what an inverse is, it's where you switch the x and y, and then it becomes a reflection over the identity line, or y equals x, that little diagonal line there. So if I'm switching x and y, I kind of have an example of the table here. That's what it looks like. Now, what does it actually look like to do an equation, though? Because when we did linear equations, um, you know, it was like y equals mx plus b, we would say, oh, okay, now it's just x equals my plus b, and uh, let's go ahead and solve for y. And you kind of ended up with something that looks like this. And you simplified from there. And as you recall, you rewrote it with the inverse function symbol. So to do it with an exponential function, we're going to use something called a logarithmic base. So logarithm with a base b, um, if you want to do these inverses or rewrite it in exponential and, and log form, I like to use a circle method. Uh, you can read the key concept there. You know me. Let's just do an example. Basically, you know, I'm kind of checking out this right here. The base on a log is the little subscript of a tiny number below. It's going to become the base, um, and see where the y here, it's going to connect to there, with this x connecting over there. So it kind of makes a circle, that's how I like to do it. Um, 4 squared equaling 16. That's how you can rewrite that. Um, which, think about it, does that hold true? 4 squared is 16. So if you have a logarithm and it has a base 4, you're basically saying, um, I have a base 4 and I get 16, the exponent is 2. That's basically all that is right there. Again, so to rewrite that, this would be 3 to the 6th equals 729. Now that is bigger than what you will find on your Powers Pocket Guide, but if you plug in your uh, 3 to the 6th in your calculator, you will get 729. So. And we can go the other way. So if they give me it already in exponential form, I can write it in logarithmic form. And again, the circle method works great. I'm just going to do log base 4 of 64. So I have 4. I want to use an exponent to get 64. What exponent is that? 3. Okay, write it again. Whee! Log base 125 of 5. So if I have a base 125, how do I get it to become 5? Take it to the 1 3rd power, or cube root it. Fancy there. So what they'll have us do now is actually um, evaluate, these are going to be evaluating expressions, not necessarily um, solving at this point, just evaluating. But to evaluate it, I'm going to go ahead and put an x. So when I do that, now I'm just going to do that circle method. 3 to the x equals 81. That looks like what we did in 7-2 part 1. Now I can solve that. I'm using my powers pocket guide. I look at the 3. It becomes an 81 when x is, uh, or when the exponent is 4. And now that my bases are the same, I know that x equals 4. And that's all you have to do. So again, all I do is just set it equal to x. I use my circle method to rewrite that. Ooh, this one's a little more complicated with that base of 1 half. I think what I'll do is pull this 2 up. It's not written, but I know that it actually secretly has an exponent of 1, right? So if I rewrite that, I can make that 2 to the negative 1 and just keep that x power there. And, okay, 2 definitely is not um, 
does not go to 256 on my Powers Pocket Guide. So I'm just kind of checking in my calculator. Maybe I try 2 to the 6. That only gives me 64. So maybe I kind of skip around a little bit. Maybe I'll try 2 to the 8. Ah, that's the key. If I go ahead and multiply, can I just call that negative x? Great. x equals negative 8. Okay, same as our exponential functions, these can be moved around, stretched, compressed, up, down, left, right, all the good things. Notice I have a, a gim that tells us if it is stretched or compressed. Notice I have h that tells me if it moves left or right. And last but not least, k tells me if it moves up or down. Um, I say graph, you say table, we've been here, we've done that. Let's concentrate on rewriting log and exponential functions for today.